Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. In today's demo, we're going to talk about JSON. JSON is a JavaScript object notation, which is a lightweight uh, data interchange format that is easy for humans to read and write, but it's also easy for machines to pass and to generate. JSON is based on a subset of JavaScript, the JavaScript programming language and is commonly used for transmitting data between servers and web applications. Think about IoT devices generating sensor data per se and sending that to your analytical platform for evaluation, for analysis. Typically, you want to do that transmission in the JSON format. There are other formats. XML really was a precursor to JSON. There were a lot of limitations to XML, like being too verbose. That led to the creation of JSON. JSON represents data as a collection of key value pairs, which can sometimes be nested, making the representation uh, complex. So if you have data stored in a JSON format, having a way or the syntax in your analytical platform to go in and to query and to pass out that JSON data becomes really essential. And to this demo, we're going to go through and see how we can work with JSON data in Snowflake using Snowflake's variant column type so how we store data and various functions that are available for you to pass that complex json data to pull out insights to pull out value for your analytics links to this documentation would be in the description below that said let's jump into the ui to begin working with json now switching over to our snow side worksheet we're going to go through a couple of examples of working with json data reading json data passing json data to give us a quick orientation the very first thing we're going to see here passing json data as a variant is understanding the variant data type that exists in snowflake snowflake supports numerous types so int strings a variant is one of that and so if you have semi-structured data be it json or even avro parquet you want to think about putting that in the data type called the variant get links to the variant data type will be in the description go ahead here and create a table to hold our JSON data. And this table will be called JSON table. In there, we have a field called JSON data, which is the variant data type to store JSON data. Variant is unique because it's highly optimized for JSON. This is not just taking strings and storing. A Snowflake optimizes the storage of this. It vectorizes it. So when you go out to query that JSON, pulling out specific key value pairs, the results are highly performant. Now we have our table created go ahead and insert some sample data into that table this is a json payload this could be sensor data coming from your iot devices now you're taking that json payload and you're storing that into a variant column go ahead and do a simple select star from the table we just created we can see that data is stored in the variant format so this is highly optimized again this is not strings this is data optimized for storage in the JSON format, which makes querying this data very performant. Now, for the average user, they wouldn't want to have JSON coming into the BI report. You want to pass out that JSON to pick out the field. Here, we can use the dot notation in Snowflake to pass out JSON data. This is the very first thing we're going to master when working with JSON on Snowflake. Query from my JSON table as before. But the only difference is now we're going to go in and pick the specific values of the different keys within our JSON payload. For this, do the JSON.data and pick out the name. Uh, JSON.data, we have the age. JSON.data, we're going to pick out the city. Now, what is JSON.data? JSON.data is essentially the name of a JSON column. So we call that json the data This payload is pretty flat, so it's not very difficult to do. If you had this name as demo you're gonna go demo column and you pick out the specific key go ahead and run this now we have the json data which was stored as a variant and we're basically querying that and flattening that out into a format that can be consumed in a relational format that can be consumed by most analytical tools the next concept we're going to see working with json is flattening json data using the flatten function now Snowflake provides a flatten function for us to use to flatten our JSON data without a lot of overhead. So here, as before, create 
or replace a JSON table, insert a couple of records into that JSON table, verify what we have in the table, just go ahead and select star from that table. We have a JSON payload, a little bit more nested than what we had before. We have the age, city, name, which is nested with the first name and the last name. Now we want to take out the names and flatten that all out. You can certainly pick this value by value or you can use the JSON flatten function to do this in one go. So if you go ahead and take advantage of this, the syntax is essentially going to that table and we're going to do table flatten and then give this a JSON table, JSON table dot data. Take a look at the results. So here we're bringing the table before we see the data has been flattened. So we have three rows. The age has been brought out, the name and the city has all been brought out with the key and then the value of that. So age was 30, the city was New York and the name which is nested has also been flattened out here. So if you have a JSON payload, it's really easy to flatten that out. Now, if I wanted to go in and do a flattening of this, just think about doing that a couple of times and you can flatten out a very nested structure to get a relational format that could be used. The next concept we're going to see working with JSON and Snowflake is converting a specific data type using the tool function in Snowflake. As before, create a table to hold a JSON data, insert a couple of records. A simple select statement on that table validates what we have as records. So age is it active and the name of that user. Now let's see how we can use the two function to not only pull out specific values from the keys, but also converting or changing the data types of those values so we can be very precise on the data types we get back. As before, do the JSON data the name to get the name attribute. And for this, we're going to keep it as such, nothing really changing there. Next, do the JSON data.h to get the h value. Convert that type to make sure it comes back as a number. Do the two number wrapping around our conversion. Next, do the is it active as a Boolean. Executing this, we see the results, ID and the name and the age, as well as is that user active or not. And these data types would match the data type we expect because we've done the conversion when working with the JSON payload. The next concept we're going to see working with JSON in Snowflake, leveraging the lateral flatten function. This is one of the most versatile function you're going to use or encounter when working with JSON data on Snowflake. As before, we'll do a quick prep here of creating a table and inserting some records into that table. Verify what we have in the table by doing a select star. Here we have a really more nested JSON data, age, name phone number and the phone has different types and even the phone is a nested number is this the type is home and then we go to a work phone and we have the number showing up in there now we want to take that and flatten that out each user might have different types of phones so we're not just flattening out this we're gonna have a lateral flatten because there are gonna be multiple phone numbers that we have to pull out select distinct again going and getting the name pretty straightforward get the age again pretty straightforward if you want you can always do the two number and convert that age as we saw before now this is where it gets interesting we want to pull out those phone numbers here we have phone dot value but where are we getting the phone dot value we're using a lateral flatten on our source or json data on phones to flatten that out and then we can go in and pick out the specific numbers. I think this will be clear when we run this and see the results. Execute this. The results here are pretty clear. So now we have the name, the age, what phone type it is, and then that phone number. We have the name, the age, what phone type it is, and then we have the phone number because the user could have a home phone and a work phone. The way we accomplish that is by using that lateral flatten to flatten out the phone number section and then we can go in and pick out the specific values. A very versatile function to have if you're working with JSON data that's a little bit more nested. Lateral flatten is a function to be very aware of and nothing stops you from nesting it. The next thing we're going to see working with JSON data in Snowflake is retrieving a single instance of a repeating element within the JSON a payload. As before, we said a environment here creating a table, inserting a couple of records, and we can verify the structure 
of the records we're working with. A little bit more complex as before, we have the age, the name, phone numbers, and we can see that phone number repeating. Now before, well, we use the letter of flatten, but let's see how we can also do this by just retrieving the very first phone number we see within that repeating set of phone numbers the user might have. Not as complex as before, do the JSON data, get the name, do the JSON data, get the age, and go into the phone. So this phone node here, and we're just gonna take zero, you know, in science we tend to come from zero. So we're just gonna get the zero, the very first number, and that should give us a value. Now there might be use cases where this is uh, relevant to you, but always apply that to what works for you. So here we've executed that. We have the name, the age, and the very first phone number we saw within the list of repeating phone numbers that you can obviously pull out. The next function we see here working with JSON and Snowflake is the JSON extract path function to extract values using the JSON path string. A very capable function to be very aware of as before set up the, the data query the table. We just load up with data. We can see the address does have the city and the street. We have the age and of course we have the first name, last name. Very similar to what we did before, except in this case we're replacing address here with phone number. We use this JSON extract part text. So here we're saying, hey, JSON extract part text. We need the address dot street, right? So if you go to the address, we have an address, we have the street. We want to go and pick this specific value, which is going to give us a main street. You can also do the dot notation like we did before, or you can also use the JSON extract part give it your variant column name so json data is what we're working with and what we want we want address dot street and so it's just going to go in and pick that for us you're doing this in a syntax a little bit different than this but essentially accomplishing very similar things executing that is the results we saw earlier so the name the city as well as the zip last but not the least is the object aggregation function in snowflake to aggregate a set of rows and return a json payload so before we've seen how to take json and unpack that and pull out specific values using the tremendous amount of functions snowflake provides in this case we're going to see how to work our way back take a look at that table the results in the table looks like that again rows with the name and age and the name of the user as well as the value of that so the key value pair all shows up but we want to take this and put that into a json format that could be consumed the way we're going to do that is leveraging the object aggregation function for this it takes a key and a value and it's going to return a json object for us do object aggregation give it the key which is k and the value of v and if we execute that it gives us an array that has the h and the name of that user and this is all json data which could be consumed by your downstream system so what we've seen is we can always take JSON data, unpack that, but here we're also seeing how we can take relational data, group that into an array and format that in a JSON format. There you have it. We've explored some really powerful functions for working with JSON or Snowflake. As always, your use case might be a little bit different. It might be a twist on all of this, but the links to the documentation will be in the description below. Check it out, play with it. If you have any questions or are struggling with any step working with JSON data on Snowflake or a specific syntax, don't hesitate to jump into the comment section below. Let me know and I'll see what I can do. As always, you have been very awesome sticking and watching to the end. I have been through with Demo Hub for today and I'll see you in our next demo.